Here is your latest African news. Horn of Africa. China to appoint special envoy to Horn of Africa. China will appoint a special envoy for the Horn of Africa to help tackle security challenges in the region. Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi made the announcement this week during a press conference in the Kenyan city of Mombasa. The minister is on a tour of the three countries in Eastern Africa, which began in Eritrea and concludes in the Indian Ocean islands of Comoros. He commends sanctions imposed on Eritrea, which has long been regarded as pariah by Western powers. The U.S. imposed sanctions on Eritrea last year over its involvement in the Ethiopian conflict. West Africa. ECOWAS rejects Mali military hopes of five-year transition to civilian rule. The mediators of West Africa's regional bloc, ECOWAS, has delivered a message to Mali's military leader ahead of a summit on Sunday to address the timetable of its transition to civilian rule. Mali's military take over the country in August 2020. The message, the details of which have not been revealed, came during a meeting between former Nigerian minister Goodluck Jonathan, who heads a delegation of ECOWAS mediators in Mali, and the interim president, Colonel Asami Kuota, who led the coup that doubled President Ibrahim Boubacar Keita. In a post on Twitter, the Malian presidency said that the talk address the evolution of a political situation in the country. Kota, who also staged a de facto second coup in May 2021, forcing out an interim civilian government, had initially committed to holding elections by 27th February 2022. Algeria. Algeria's ambassador returns to Paris after three months dispute. Algeria's ambassador returned to Paris this week three months after being recalled amid tension related to the era of colonial French rule in the North African country. The move was announced by Algeria's presidency. In October, President Abdelmajid Tebboune recalled Ambassador Antar Daoud, citing alleged irresponsible comments by French President Emmanuel Macron about Algeria's pre-colonial history and post-colonial system of government. Algeria also refused permission for France to fly military planes in the airspace and accused Paris of genocide during the colonial era. Last month, French Foreign Minister Jean-Yves Le Guihan sought to defuse tension by paying a visit to Algeria. The countries agreed to resume cooperation. Kenya. British Council confirms probe after Kenya staff allege racism. The British Council has confirmed that it was investigating allegations of racism and discrimination against the past and current Kenyan staff at the Cultural Relations Organization. A British Council spokesperson said the agency and the Kenyan authorities have received an anonymous letter in July 2021 and it responded by initiating an investigation in August 2021. The response came a day after a newspaper in the United Kingdom published a story saying that seven Kenyans had written the letter with claims of racism. Namibia. Namibia battling with a third locust outbreak. Namibia is currently fighting the third locust outbreak in Karasburg district, Karas region in the southern part of the country. The first outbreak was reported on September 21, 2021, by a commercial farmer, and a team was immediately dispatched. Unfortunately, they could not track. The initial control commenced on November 3, 2021, in the Karasburg district, and by then, the infest area was estimated at approximately 800,000 hectares of farmland and over 240,000 hectares surveyed with approximate 2,000 hectares treated and sprayed, he added. Since mid-December 2021, the Minister of Agriculture has been detecting swarms of brown leucos and spraying teams has been dispatched and are in the field to date. Morocco Morocco and China agreed to implement the Belt and Road Initiative. Morocco and China have enhanced their cooperative as they signed this week the Joint Belt and Road Implementation Plan. Nasser, Nasser Borita the Moroccan Minister of Foreign Affairs and the Ning Shi Vice Chairman of the Chinese National Commission for Reform and Development both signed the Joint Belt and Road Implementation Plan, launched in 2013 under the name One Belt, One Road. 
When implemented, the deal should see the two nations create a joint ventures in the energy industry. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share and like this video. It's the best way to support us. Also, don't forget to catch and the return of our show, Africa, in the news on our channel. You can directly support this news series by becoming our YouTube member or becoming a Patreon or donating. And remember, Africa is watching.